Welcome to the Sydney Career Ground. The players at the moment are in the dressing room just completing the tea break and uh, we're about to start the last session on this, the fourth day of the Sheffield Shield final between Queensland and New South Wales. Now, the, uh, the situation here is that uh, the Queenslanders are currently up there, but New South Wales in their first innings made 341. And they made those runs in 183.5 overs. It was a pretty slow business. And you can see Holdsworth ending up 10 not out. The top scorer, Greg Matthews, on 78. We might just take you through one or two of those wickets. First to go today was Emery. He was out caught by Barsby. This is how it happened. The ball played away down towards the third man, and that was the break they needed. It uh, took quite a, quite a while for it to come, and you can see on the uh, face of Rackerman there that he was very happy when it did. Matthews was the man they really needed out. He was eventually out caught by Hayden. Again, that ball swinging. Matthews trying, spinning quite a bit. Matthews trying to smash it down the ground. Hit it off the meat of the bat, but a nice catch there by Hayden, moving around to his left at mid-off. So Matthews was out, and then Whitney was comprehensively bowled. This delivery knocking his off stump out of the ground, and uh, he had a little glance at the stumps there. They were lying all over the place. So off he went, and then of course the last batsman to go was McGrath, who was caught by Anderson off the bowling of Kasprovitz. And this is how that run happened. It was an outside edge. He was backing away just a little bit thick edge, and through to the keeper it went. So there it was, 341, and that meant that the Queenslanders had a deficit of 30 runs. Queensland figures, Rackerman, 2 for 92, 2 for 65 there for our Kasprovitz, 2 for 67, nipping in at the end. Jackson, 3 for 91, 69 overs he bowled, and Law just used sparingly there. No wicket for nine. Well, it was then uh, the Queensland turn to go out and have another go. Barsby went out with Hayden. Unfortunately, Hayden was first out and then quickly followed by Wellham. But this is how Hayden was out. Disappointment for him because this was a big match, no doubt, in his mind. The selectors are all here watching, getting ready to pick that team to go to England. And uh, unfortunately, he's failed in both innings. Well, Wellham who's moved himself up to number three, also failed in both innings. He was out caught by Emery to that little flirt outside off stump, and he didn't even bother watching the umpire there, so he was out for one. So Bosby's on 18, Law's on five. The players are out on the centre now, two for 30. So Queensland have wiped out the deficit. The big question is, can they really turn it on now, make some runs quickly, and make a match of this? It's the first one after the tea break, just outside off stump. McGraw's bowling. On strike at the moment is Bosby. And in the commentary box, Ian Chappell with Simon O'Donnell. Thanks, Tony. Scores absolutely dead level at the moment. 311 to Queensland, 341 to New South Wales. Queensland in their second innings, two for 30. the method of this last session here for Queensland that momentum going I think they've got to rely a lot on quick singles changing the strike over not allowing the bowler to get into a rhythm looks up a lot of the time he's going to be bowling to a different batsman just help to get some momentum going because it's a crucial two hours if they're to have any chance whatsoever of winning this match however there was an important two hours to turn on something special, this is it. These are probably the two players to do it for Queensland. Stuart Law in very good form, having made a century in the first innings. Hit the ball extremely well. Trevor Barsby, a man who does like to get on with it. But something special is exactly what they need. It's got to be, uh, well, around about 180 in the session. They've got uh, 35 overs to be bowled in this session. 
So as Greg Ritchie was mentioning before the break, Queensland really do need to play it like a one-day game. Even if they get out, I don't think that uh, matters. I think whatever the target is they set New South Wales, I think the more gettable it is for New South Wales, the better Queensland's chances of producing a victory. Stuart Law is in very fine form. Fine knock of 142 in the first innings. Queensland were reeling. Losing two early wickets. Just looks as if he's stroking the ball and playing with enormous confidence. Very much a confidence player, Stuart Law, and his first innings have given him the confidence he needs to hopefully carry on and play another. Very important innings for New South Wales. Queensland, I should say. Queensland in their second innings are two for 32. Beautifully timed shot. Played some good shots in the first innings off the back foot to uh, Stuart Law, particularly once he got set. And that was a good example of a man in excellent form. Certainly was. His hands go right through there. Just held up a little bit. On him as it came off the wicket, and he just holds his hands in the middle here just for that split second just to make sure he got the timing right on that ball. Perfectly placed. Well run three. Holdsworth has been very impressive, especially early on. He has that uncanny knack. Knocking over a couple of important wickets early. The ball's nice and new. It's a little bit of swing away from the right-hander. Bit of bounce, plenty of pace. Can hold his head high. His performance so far during this Shield final. Piece of fielding there, probably making up for a couple of drop catches in the first innings. Went some way to eradicating the debt. His first innings batting. Oh! Hopeful of getting a bit of confidence back in the hands as this innings goes on. Be taking a catch or two. One hundred and twenty eight wickets for New South Wales. Wayne Holdsworth. He's had a very good uh, last half of the season this year. Pretty good lead into the Shield final, courtesy of Victoria. Seven for 52 in Victoria's second innings down in Melbourne. Fair confidence boost to know that you're bowling pretty well and in form. 
coming into the most important match of the year. And a great save there in the gully by Bayless. It's two for 35. Queensland leading by five with eight wickets, uh, eight second innings wickets in hand. 19 to Barsby, four to Stuart Law. McGrath to continue from the Paddington end. Beautiful shot. He's looked, uh, well, I didn't see Michael Slater play uh, in New South Wales' first innings, but he's looked far and away the most accomplished batsman in this match, Stuart Law. It's a real trademark shot of Stuart Law's one foot cover drive. And McGrath just over pitching there, giving a little width. Stuart Law capitalising on it. Wouldn't want it much better than that. Foot to the pitch of the ball, full face of the bat, four runs. Shouts of catch it. And uh, that has been done at fine leg. Law hit that pretty well. In fact, uh, Probably hit it a bit too well for his own liking. And that is a big blow for Queensland. Certainly is a big blow. I think Stuart Law is in a bit too good a form. He has hit that absolutely beautifully. I don't think he would have expected it carrying that far. And a good catch by Wayne Holdsworth in the end. Going backwards, misjudged it in the... First tense, but was able to get back and take a very fine catch to dismiss Queensland's trump card. Stuart Law, 13. Queensland now 3 for 39. Peter Goggin, the new Queensland batsman at the crease. Queensland now three for 39. And Stuart Law, the last man out. A little unfortunate. He hit this pretty well, but I guess if you hit him in the air, you'd take uh, the risk of getting caught. Yep. Ripper hit. Very competent catch. Wayne Holdsworth. So Trevor Barsby be taking a strike. And McGrath to continue. Most unfortunate for Queensland because it looked like uh, Stuart Law was just starting to run into the sort of form that he was in in the first innings. Hit a lovely boundary through the covers. And that short delivery... He actually hit it very well. But just didn't get the placement. The ball was short enough to play the pull shot. After these early wickets have fallen, three for 39 at this stage. Chewed up 20 overs. 
very difficult for Queensland to set a formidable total for New South Wales and give them also give themselves a fair chance of being able to bowl them out. that one a little bit too much and looking to hit it quite straight back down the wicket just closing the face of that one time is so important for Queensland here and losing these early wickets to set them back these finals, there's always room for someone to do something special, and Trevor Barsby is defi definitely capable. It's three for 39. Hayden out for four, Wellham for one. And Stuart Law, the man out since the tea break. Court holds worth bold McGrath for 13. Peter Goggin about to face his first ball from the speedster, Wayne Holdsworth. Beautifully balanced run. Runs in uh, almost like a sprinter. He's beautifully balanced. Impressive in the first innings. Quite scratchy, given a couple of chances. Looking to make amends for that here. Big shout, and he's been given by umpire Hare. And uh, really taken by surprise with that short delivery from Wayne Holdsworth. I'd say it must have just uh, clipped the gloves and went straight through to Phil Emery. Definitely taken by surprise. That was a good pace of delivery there from Wayne Holdsworth. Bit of bounce. Shows the departure of Peter Goggin. And here it is. Oh, that was a nasty one. You couldn't go, have got it any straighter or any better than that. Wayne Holdsworth very happy about it. So are all the New South Wales players. They really have the scent of victory there at the moment. Peter Goggin, after two deliveries, is out for a duck. Port Emery bowled Holdsworth. Queensland now slumped to four for 39. Love making his debut played uh, quite impressively in the first innings and uh, had a good partnership with Stuart Law in the first innings made 40 odd 42 to be exact and the partnership 75 to the crease Martin it's not quite as lethal a delivery as this one it's 
beautifully bowled by Wayne Holdsworth. Plenty of pace in that. Giving Peter Goggin any time to settle in whatsoever at the crease. He was in no doubt. He was in a fair bit of trouble. Nicely timed. Great way to get off the mark. Very well timed there by Martin Love. Showed great application and kept a cool head in the first innings. Felt it a little bit when he was losing partners towards the end, which is only fair enough for a man of very limited experience at this level. He acquitted himself exceptionally well. Not showing an enormous amount of nerves out there at the moment with that type of shot either. And he's been given out by umpire Hare. Trevor Barsby has been getting a long way across and trying to clip the ball through the mid-wicket area. As Simon mentioned, he would have been better going straight down the ground. Barsby's looking back. Not sure whether he uh, believes he hit it or not, or whether he was just a little surprised to be given LBW, but he, he'll probably get a shock to see exactly how far he's going across. He's certainly a long way across there. Umpire Darrell here has a real good look, but not much doubt. I have to say, pitch middle and off, hitting middle. Not the full face of the bat. Sometimes that is what can happen. Trevor Barsby is out for 19 runs. LBW bold Holdsworth. Seen the funny side of it anyway. Queensland 5 for 42. Anderson to face Wayne Holdsworth. Holdsworth really charging into his work. He's got four for 22 and has bowled very quickly. Last of his wickets, Trevor Barsby, LBW, and a good decision by umpire Hare. Barsby was a long way across with that front foot. The ball certainly would have hit the stumps. Definitely so. Paying the price for just playing a little across the line of the ball there instead of back down the wicket. Gave a hint that that could have been a bit of a problem the over previous. It's fortunately contributed to the Barsby's downfall. His top score there at the moment on a pretty dismal looking scorecard at this stage. Five for 42. We're in the 22nd over. About to begin. He's then in a lot of trouble. Holdsworth has so far been involved in all the dismissals, taking four wickets himself and then a good catch at fine leg to get rid of Stewie Law. It's been a very good uh, second innings for the young speedster. And he has bowled quickly in the second innings, the quickest uh, we've seen in the match. If you've just joined us, the Queensland players there, you see the, uh, the black armband. That uh, is because Paul Jackson's mother died on Saturday night. So a gesture of sympathy there from the Queensland players to the uh, 
news of the death of their left arm orthodox spinner. Interested in in a situation like this in a game of five for forty-three. I've always been a bit of a lever that you, know, you always bat the way best suits your game. I think the scoreboard necessarily should have an enormous say in that. The wickets that are going down so far. Emery has caught it. New South Wales players are pretty excited now. Umpire Randall has said not out. He did appear to be looking to see if the keeper had caught it. But uh, he signalled not out. Emery is just speaking to uh, Randall. I think he perhaps asked Randall, did you think he hit it or did you think that it didn't carry? And he certainly caught it, but it's come off the... Uh, off the thigh of the batsman so it was a very good decision by umpire Randall it certainly was off his right hip top of the thigh Fair bit of jubilation from New South Wales why wouldn't there be they've got an opportunity to wrap this match up smacking into the keeper's gloves. He's got plenty of pace, Wayne Holdsworth. I think he'll be wanting the ball to come out of his hand for a while yet. Four second innings wickets at this stage. Catch was his contribution to the fifth. Queensland reeling at five for 43. One recognised batsman left. That's Martin Love playing his first first class match. Peter Anderson, the wicket keeper at the other end. And to follow these two players, Kasprowitz, Raul, Jackson, Rackerman. So a lot hinging on partnership here between the number six and seven, Love and Anderson. of work there Michael Bevan very quickly onto that ball may have had uh, love struggling if he'd hit the stumps 
He's accepting well in the field, Michael Bevan, and that was to his right hand, very quickly across, and been a very close decision. He move here exceptionally well, and would have been a fair way out, Martin Love, if had have happened to have hit. Very impressive from Wayne Holdsworth in his 12th over. Four maidens, all for 23. Really torn the Queensland top order apart here this afternoon. He's been a bit high. It's five for 44. to Martin Love. Peter Anderson yet to get off the mark. Queensland leading by 14, but they're five down. Learning experience here for Martin Love. Top echelon first class domestic first class cricket here in Australia. Yep. Yep. Faced many deliveries like that in the recent Australian 19 tour of New Zealand. His future in this game I think is a rather bright one. So he will learn to cope with that type of delivery. You'll see quite a bit of it. A couple of pretty good deliveries, the last two from Glenn McGrath. Previous one to Martin Love got up quite sharply. And then he followed that with a good Yorker. Right on line there from Glenn McGrath. Peter Anderson digging it out. It's five for 45.
five to Martin Love. Anderson still yet to get off the mark. Queensland leading by 15 with five wickets down in the commentary position, Kerry O'Keefe and Tony Gregg. Thanks, Ian, and here we go again with genuine pace. That's well played too. On the offside through the covers. Back for two. Will they take three? No. So love playing that shot very well. And Holdsworth really fired up. He's bowled very fast. 12 overs, four maidens, four for 23. And uh, those two make it four for 25. Worth now has completed his 50 first class wickets for the season. And what an amazing comeback this has been, Tony. A few weeks ago, with five games of the, the, the season remaining, he was out of the New South Wales team, had I think something like 15 first class wickets for the year. Serious doubts as to whether his first class career may have been in fact over. And five games later, he's now making a late dash to be included in the Australian Tour of England. He's in my side. Oh. It's perhaps the best thing that could have happened to him was getting um, a little bit of a jolting, the threat of being left out. So he really has come back. He's bowled very fast. He swung the ball early on as well. That's the, he has the two strings, of course. He's an outswing bowler, but he's also expressed pace. So if there's no swing available for him, he just clicks it up a yard. If it's swinging uh, and there's something there for him through the air, he really is a difficult customer. So all these runs precious now as Queensland desperate to try and eat some sort of advantage from the afternoon. Yes, the other thing about Hosworth is that everyone you speak to that's faced him say that he really is quick. And uh, I'm not just talking about shield cricketers. I speak to a few test players who have played against him. They all agree that he's express pace. And uh, it's always good as a captain of a touring team to have a real fledgling tear away on your side. Brings up to 50 now, five wickets down. That's the other thing I suppose the selectors are going to have to be thinking about is not taking a group of bowlers that are the same. You need a bit of variation. And of course we are Australian tourists, so nothing we love more than to, to put it to the palms. And somebody like Wayne Holsworth, in contrast to Paul Rifle or Tony Dottomade, has the extra couple of yards, you know, and very, very Australian. And there goes that bouncer again, fizzing fast the head of the batsman there. Through to the keeper, those score on five for 50. So Love, who played pretty well in the first innings, on nine now. With him out there is Anderson on one. Oh. Yes, and that Queensland batting lineup, which many doubted going into this game. Peter Goggin at five, a debutante at six, Martin Love. Very reliant on Matthew Hayden, the highest scorer for the year, getting runs. He failed in both innings. The captain got Norton one at three. So always going to be troubles for them. A 
But in Martin Love, they do seem to have found one. Absolutely outstanding technique, temperament unquestioned after his fine first innings. And here again, under an enormous amount of pressure. Yes, that's out, caught behind. A good delivery. He gets the one to move away off the wicket. That's class bowling. He's done it often. And uh, there's the smile that says it, says it all. That one hit the deck and moved away off the wicket. Just found the outside edge. And nicely taken by the keeper. And a little bit of movement away from Martin Love. It proved his undoing in the first innings. And once again, Glenn McGrath's got one to leave him. Pushing out, not quite in line. Emery did the rest. McGrath's delighted. And what a fine bowling performance it's been by him in support of Holsworth. Martin Love leaves. He's still impressed. Failed, though, with nine. Queensland in terrible trouble, six for 50. Michael Kastrovitz is the new batsman. He's uh, out there because of love. Getting a little nick to that one out for nine. Oh, straight away in for the treatment. These youngsters getting stuck into each other. This has been a very willing final. Plenty of uh, burbling gone on. An over amount of intimidation for every batsman from one to eleven. And Michael Kastrowitz greeted with a bouncer on arrival. Oh. Kastrowitz is out there because Martin Love was the last man out. And Glenn McGrath, in the middle of a fine spell, drew the leg cutter and just the faintest of edges on the half front foot. Emery doesn't drop those. And New South Wales now very close to victory. It's oh. into a fine over from McGrath. Queensland six for 50. Six for 50 now, 26 overs have been bowled. Have a look at Holdsworth featuring very prominently there and McGraw now into the action as well. Holdsworth going to continue. 13 overs, four maidens, four for 28. So much was made of leaving out the second spinner and winning the toss and sending the opposition in. In the end, Phil Emery looks to have pulled every right rein. Waiting. He was waiting for the short one there. It wasn't quite short enough for him to get away. Tucked him up a little. 
thundering into that side pad. Peter Anderson, of course, uh, he kept to 180 odd overs of the New South Wales innings. Probably thought he was going to have a rest this afternoon before tomorrow's final day. Suddenly he's out with a total at 50, six wickets down, defending for his life. That's well played through the offside field there, and once again, shot off the back foot, nicely executed. Really are going to need a decent partnership here. Just looking closely at uh, Holdsworth there as he comes running in, he seems to be holding the ball for an inswinger. He's been swinging the ball out a little bit, but he's got the shine the other way around as he charges in there. Perhaps he's trying to get uh, the ball to swing in a little bit. Can be a mistake trying to do too much, but just watch him hold it up there. It seems to me that the shiny side here is um, on, his, on his side of his body. Oh, and that's a short delivery, and it's dispatched away. And into the seats it goes. So he really has got hold of that one. It's quick enough. All you got to do is help it's on its way, which is exactly what he did. Peter Anderson there. He's been sweating on the bouncer. There's one or two attempted hooks. This time, the right place for him, and that's a very full swing. Middled it, and has hit it three or four rows back. Now, it'll be interesting to see what Holdsworth does. He wants to uh, come charging in with a Yorker. Or perhaps a ball just outside off stump, just short of a length. They're moving the fieldsman back just to get the batsman thinking about that short one. let him have another one hold in absolutely spot on let him have the bouncer got him stirred up moved the fieldsman back then ran up and bowled a dead straight delivery and castled him and the aggravation continues anderson gets a little send off from the new south welshman as a result of holsworth taking out his middle and off stumps it was going to be Peter Anderson or New South Wales. In the end, it's New South Wales. Of course, he's looking high over mid on. Holsworth has his fifth wicket, and Queensland now looking to try and get it into a fifth day at seven for 58. New batsman onto the back foot, but uh, right across and into the line of that one. So a cheer there for Holdsworth. Very well bowled. And what a dynamic piece of bowling it's been here by Wayne Cracker Holdsworth, Bankstown. This was explosive. Perhaps not the right option from Anderson, but the send-offs continue, as we saw once again. This is, as I mentioned earlier, this has been a very willing contest, and accusations that uh, players were given send-offs yesterday, again today it's happening. Can't be taken away from the fact that Holsworth bowled very quick, and he swung it as well. So I think you got a bit of pleasure out of that. He 
have been hit for six and uh, of course he came charging in and then clean bowled him so I suppose it's understandable a young fiery fast bowler should have a few words all is fair in love and war Holdsworth in my touring squad. Perhaps we should have a look at uh, that first, then we'll go on to Kerry O'Keefe's and uh, as the commentators come on, so we'll go. There we are. Um, Taylor, obviously, an automatic selection as an opener. I've picked Slater to go with him. David Boone as the spare opener, and he's obviously going to be used at three. Damien Martin, I think, deserves a bit of a go. Oh, that's in the air, and is it out? Yes, he's got him. Another short delivery. That one hit the top edge, went flying over the top of the keeper's head. And good work there by, quick, by New South Wales. And they ran around there very quickly, covering the keeper. Another good delivery, sharp bounce there. And McGrath's lost nothing in comparison to Holsworth. This was very slippery. Kasperowitz didn't know much about it. Gilchrist positioned himself well. And New South Wales have their eighth wicket. Kasperwitz, a long spell with the ball. Didn't think he'd be batting this afternoon. He makes his way out without scoring. Queensland, eight for 58. So Paul Jackson, the new batsman, he's out there to face the music now. And uh, I can tell you he's going to have his work cut out. McGraw again. And this is why he's out there. This nasty delivery to Gasprovitz. Watch him uh, get himself in a terrible tangle. Didn't know where it had gone. Realised it was in the air. Nicely taken. Gilchrist running around there. So yet another wicket falls. Eight for 58. For those of you interested in the stats, the lowest score by Queensland at the Sydney Career Ground is 84. And that 84 was back in the season of 1929-30. It's a long time ago. That must be under some threat, Tony, because with Jackson and only Rackerman to come, then uh, you would think that 84 looks a long way away at the moment, given the fact that uh, McGrath and Holsworth are really getting into their work. Yep. That's nicely played. Comfortable single, so he's off the mark. It's the end of the over. Eight for 59. So 8 for 59 the score after 28 overs. Rowland Jackson there together with Rackerman to come. 
We're going to see Holdsworth continuing. Jackson right into line. Just getting back to that uh, team we've each been asked to select. The touring team, that's mine, Taylor and Slater, Boone, Damien Martin, who's um, over in New Zealand, or he's probably got back now. I've got Dean Jones in the side. I don't think we can leave him out. Border down there at number six, the War Brothers. I don't think you see how we can leave. Those are my eight batsmen. Healy and Zura, the two keepers. Warren and May, the spinners, one of each. And then McDermott, Hughes, and this is where it gets hard. Holdsworth, Julian, and Raul. Now, there'll be all sorts of uh, different permutations in terms of the bowlers. I think McDermott and Hughes picked themselves. The, really, the hard one was uh, what to do with the left arm swing bowler. Well, Julian's my choice there, just ahead of Michael Whitney. I've been really impressed with Raul and the way he's bowled and Holdsworth's a real tear away. So that's my outfit. We'll let Kerry O'Keefe talk you through his. Well, mine was selected at two o'clock prior to Wayne Holdsworth starting this spell. But I too, I was tremendously impressed with Slater and have been for some time. He goes with uh, Taylor and Hayden, who has, has a thousand runs in each of the last two seasons. Those uh, figures are hard to ignore. Um, Boone, of course, the War Brothers, Border, Damien Martin goes, tremendous potential. Healy and Zura, Warren. I choose Matthews as much the fact that I just, if I was uh, to play again, I'd want Greg Matthews in any team I'm involved with. I just love the way he gets to the line over four or five days. His innings yesterday has set this up. McDermott, Hughes, Whitney because of his ability in one day cricket and his wholeheartedness. Yes, I just don't think uh, uh, the younger players have done enough to get past him fully fit. Raoul has impressed me for some time. He bowled beautifully in this match. And Bruce Reed, of course, the X factor. Uh, if he's fit, he must go. Um, so uh, pivotal is he in turning test matches. But that, that squad can change by the hour, the way Holsworth and people like even Glenn McGrath are going. However, that's it. Give you some idea how tough it's going to be for the selectors when they sit down. They've uh, got a few little differences there. The first two sides have you seen. Basically, Kerry O'Keefe going for three openers including Hayden and um, playing Reed as well in his 17. That's the information we have that they're taking 17. That also could change. So the end of another over, eight for 59. So eight for 59, a row out there at the moment with Jackson. McGraw again, nagging away at the off stump. He'll go through the motions of another backward defensive and a forward defensive. One that bounces a little bit more. I don't think he'd be playing that rollover, fallover sweep that he played against Matthews in this innings. Largely because Matthews probably won't get a bowl. Who would have thought that at the beginning of this innings? In the last Sheffield Shield match here, um, on the home of spin, all 20 South Australian wickets were taken by quicker bowlers. And people thought, well, that's an aberration. You know, spin is going to be the factor in the final. And here, towards the end of day four, eight of the second innings, Queensland wickets have all gone to the quicker men, Holsworth and McGrath. Well 
played. And one thing that is a stone cold certainly, and that's Greg Rowell is going to get right behind it. Greg Rowell prides himself on his batting ability, works hard at it, tries to stay side on all the time, tries to use his top hand. One of the most wholehearted cricketers in the country. Works at it religiously. Keen technician. That's the line. Just worried him a little bit there as uh, bounced a little more than he expected. Beautiful line to bowl to the tail end as that line just outside off stump. And if the ball does just hold a little bit, there's always a chance of a nick. We might have to get ready for a short one as well. I've seen already McGraw get Kasprovitz with one of those. Steep bouncing short delivery. All good one. That one nipped back. So he's got plenty of ability too, McGraw. He's got a few to go away, and that one in the back is a lovely delivery. And he's used his wrist well here, Glenn McGrath. Once again, he, he got Martin Love with the one that left him. And there it is, snaking back at Greg Rowell. This is still a good batting wicket, but such is the quality of these New South Wales fast bowlers that they're getting it to go off the seam. So that's the end of the over, and uh, time now for a drink as well. Cot will be out on the ground shortly. Queensland 8 for 59.